pretty cool bolt. We'll trim it down a little bit more here. Very responsive. So uh, let's just let her cool out. We're only gonna do one one uh, rip around on the lake. There's the engine. Turn like a kid. Look at that. I got an extra battery in there just for fun. Let's kick it up a little bit and rip around the lake once. Take her back. like a kitten. Water we'll do another water. video here of the boat. Just took it out for a good test run as you saw in the beginning here. We're peeling all the lettering off it so that it looks, uh, we have our own little design we like to do to it. Smooth. This thing is a smooth running boat. Got an OMC Cobra outdrive. Lots of power. Well, with a three 5.7 liter in it, I can see why. I'm going to put a cool stereo system in it. Walk through, you can walk through up to the front. Trailer's in really great shape. Easiest trailer I've ever loaded. They named that right, Easy Loader. Well, there you go, guys. We have here is a, uh, just brought the back boat back it's a Renkin and it has a small block Chevy in it and I personally winterized it last year to withstand at least 50 below so we're good to go got a uh, inertia brake on the trailer the trailer's nice we started painting it last year it's an easy loader uh, the boat runs great just needs a little interior work if you're looking for a decent project with a great trailer we started peeling the uh, lettering off the boat to clean it up but as you can see the decals that are on the trailer we started peeling those off as well but uh, the fenders are the only thing we didn't get to because we wanted to get the decals off it but it has a OMC Cobra out drive I completely uh, re-lubed and greased it up and she is ready to go I took it out for a couple of good test runs and it really has a lot of power. It runs really good. So look for more on this uh, in the same video here as I unveil it and start it up for this year and put it up for sale. So there you go. Video two. This is the tarp off the boat. As you can see, we were, as I mentioned, we were removing the emblems and labels and pinstriping just to buff it all out and really make it shine and almost today they look better when they're not all gaudied up with uh, pinstriping and stuff you can do what you want but it's 
to walk through. I'll fire it up here in a little bit on the next part of the video. But you can see the trailer's in really great shape. OMC Cobra, like I mentioned. Tires are in great shape. Good tread on them. Had no issues with this boat since we've had it. Pretty fast too, and it looks really good. It sets nice, almost perfectly in the water. It looks really good in the water. It looks very sleek for being an older boat. It's actually pretty good. It's a nice project boat. So here we go. All right, we're going to uh, trim it down. You can hear the water running. We got the uh, earmuffs on the motor. We're going to try firing it up after all winter. Fired. There you go. Got a lot of oil I dumped down into the cylinders. This motor purrs like a kitten. Give me a second here. Fired right up. I sprayed oil all over everything so there's uh, minimal rust. It, uh, it looks just like it did last year. Turn it down. Got good oil pressure. We'll see what happens with the uh, temperature. That goes up good. Good voltage. Now this is the first time I started it. You can see the engine is completely cold. You wouldn't be able to do this or put your hand down in there. That was warm. So we'll see how she rolls. Like I said, I winterize this myself and I'm a stickler about this kind of stuff. I um, set it for 50 below. Sitting there purring like a kitten. This boat here, this one's coming too. This is a 468 big block jet boat. Beautiful, beautiful boat. I did the same with this. I actually had a heater, which I just uncovered it. I actually had a heater in it all winter long. Covered up with uh, insulation just to make sure. Even though I did winterize it as well as I did the other, I didn't want to take any chances on either one of the boats. And we'll take it out on the water, and I'll put that on here as well. Okay, we're engaged.
we'll bring her up to temperature, get it all flushed out good. Got warm water down here now. Circulating through. The only problem that this boat had when I got it, and I fixed it, and I had to take the stern drive off to do it, was it was missing the never remove plug. Somehow or another it was missing, so I put it on there, and while I had it, I changed all the uh, oil and freshened it up. Well, let's engage it again so you can see it from down there. There you go folks. This boat will look really good all buffed out and shiny. In the interior, um, do whatever you want with the interior. It's dirty of course, but it's pretty much all there. The front seats are, you know, even if you didn't want to repolster it this year, you can do it next year. It's too good a boat to put in the junkyard, that's for sure. When it's got the 5.7 liter, don't get any better than that. Just uh, fired it up from being cold. As you know, having a boat is no fun. When you get it in the water, it doesn't start. So let's just touch the key without touching the throttle or anything and see what happens now. There's the temperature. Let's drop down. There you go. Didn't have the water hooked up, so we can't really keep it running. But there you go.